This video is brought to you by NTest and will provide an overview on fiber monitoring and how it works. As well, we will provide a live demo of the FiberWatch system beginning at 5 minutes and 40 seconds of this video. FiberWatch is a fiber monitoring system utilizing OTDR technology for monitoring and troubleshooting optical fibers in cabled optical networks. OTDR technology identifies fiber faults and their position in the network. The fault data can then be correlated with a geographical information system GIS, to isolate the faults and pinpoint the problem location on a map. FiberWatch provides network operations teams the ability to provide continuous automated surveillance of network fiber, OTDR trace comparison, automatic alarming when a deviation between a reference trace and a real-time trace is detected, assists operators in the verification and update of network GIS documentation, it is a distributed system, server, client, RTUs, and it provides reporting and trend analysis. Once a network is in operation, a carrier can permanently place a remote AT OTDR in a rack mount configuration at a centralized location, which can be programmed to routinely test critical fibers. This slide details the configuration of FiberWatch connected to a dark fiber. The OTDR sends a 15-15 nanometer test pulse through a switch and tests each fiber in the network. For operators that do not have any unused fibers, FiberWatch can be designed to transmit on active fibers. This time a 1625 nanometer signal is transmitted through the switch and multiplexed onto the active fiber. At the other end of the fiber, the 1625 nanometer signal is removed. For operators providing fiber to the home services, the fiber connected to the OLT port is distributed by the splitter into multiple channels to the ONT of different users. A standard OTDR cannot be deployed since the system cannot distinguish between the drop sections after the splitter. Cutting edge FiberWatch technologies overcome these challenges and enable operators to see which ONT is affected and where the disruption is located on the fiber. Fault detection and isolation represents one of the strongest features of the fiber monitoring system. The key element for fault resolution lies with problem identification. When the network is healthy, a reference trace is taken and logged into the FiberWatch database. FiberWatch continuously monitors the fibers and when a deviation from the reference trace is detected, it correlates this to a map with the nearest landmarks identified and issues an alarm. The first step upon receipt of these alarms is to diagnose the cause. Without FiberWatch, locating the cause requires many steps and in many cases takes hours. Utilizing FiberWatch, the break is detected in seconds and the location is sent by email and SMS in minutes. A customer study of 27 fiber breaks in a Tier 1 carrier's network before and after installing FiberWatch showed a reduction in mean time to repair of 70%. FiberWatch can be deployed in terrestrial as well as submarine fiber configurations. Here is an example where FiberWatch is monitoring fibers between many countries and carriers in one coordinated fashion. With the quality of service demands and costs increasing, these carriers have been able to dramatically reduce their mean time to repair and reduce their operational expenses. In summary, FiberWatch provides proactive and preventative network maintenance, enabling operators to reduce operational costs and reduce network downtime. Operators are able to greatly diminish mean time to repair, manage their SLAs with advanced reporting features, use RFTS as a differentiator over their competitors, provide network security, and ROI is easily justified. 
In order to truly offer a reliable fiber service, network operators must have total control over service disruptions by using real-time data in order to minimize their occurrence as well as their durations. We will now move on to the demo of the FiberWatch product. Here we're going to pull up the FiberWatch GUI interface. Dedicated program interfaces for the system administrator, network operations center, and operator with various access levels make FiberWatch easy and efficient to use. The GUI can be configured to meet each operator's needs through user-defined window views or choosing one of our preset configurations. This is currently broken into four groups, maps at the bottom, route information at the top, a job manager at the lower left, and our network tree is shown here at the top left. As you can see, the network tree can be organized into states, regions, subregions based on the operator's preference. There is one route currently in surveillance at the moment, and other three are not being monitored, which is why they are black. Our route one is currently green, which means there are currently no alarms. Here's our reference trace. You will see we have a fiber that is 110 kilometers long with attenuation occurring at 60.2 kilometers, which is where we have an optical switch. We use this to easily break a fiber for demo purposes by switching to another port. We will now switch the port on this from uh, port 3 to port 2 and create a fiber, a break in the fiber. You will notice that our trace is currently black. This means that this is the reference trace. The FiberWatch system is currently comparing the real-time trace to the reference trace, which takes about 10 seconds for a 100 kilometer fiber. Once a deviation is found, the system will run a more advanced measurement so that the location can precisely pinpoint the optical distance within one meter of the break. The route icon and route on the map um, will turn from green to black. FiberWatch has identified that there is a break and will update the real-time trace with the break at 60.2 kilometers. The route icon uh, is now red and the new trace is red since the deviation from the reference trace has passed the preset threshold. An alarm is automatically generated and automatically appears on the operator's screen. You will notice that the map has moved to center the break location on the center of the map. Details of the critical alarm are logged and can be viewed such as probable cause of the alarm and location of the break. The administrator can now acknowledge receipt of the alarm and provide any details necessary about resolving the break. An email and SMS are automatically generated and sent to those responsible for fixing the break in the fiber. The operator can use the routes tab to look at all of the alarms. In this case we only have one alarm. We are now going to fix the alarm by switching from port 2 back to port 3 on our switch. This is essentially doing the same thing as sending a technician to do a splice on a fiber that was broken out in the field. Our next step is to clear the alarm. To accomplish this, we go to the list of alarms and right click on the alarm. This will pull up a drop down menu and we choose clear alarm. Only those authorized can clear alarm, so a username and password must be entered. We will now collect a trace to see if the technician has successfully repaired the fiber. To see the trace, we will go back to the Trace Data tab.
We see the reference trace in black, and as FiberWatch is testing the fixed fiber, it displays the last trace taken in blue. The new trace takes about 10 seconds to run, and then posts the real-time trace in blue. The blue trace and the black trace, uh, reference trace, are identical, so that is why they are on top of each other. Now that the fiber is fixed, the fiber will need to be put back into surveillance mode which will insert the route back into the queue of routes to be tested. So that's how the FiberWatch system works for providing monitoring of your networks. If there's any additional information that's needed you can find information about us at um, FiberWatch at sales at ntestinc.com. You can also call us by phone 952-252-1221 or visit our webpage. And you can also follow us at our Facebook and Twitter page, Fiber Monitoring. Thank you for your time.